Hey everybody, this is Nate with another Backcountry Beer Review. Today I hiked, well, climbed really to the top of Boundary Peak, which uh, as the name would imply, sits right on the boundary between Bandelier National Monument and the Santa Fe National Forest. You can see the views behind me are incredible. We have a nice view of Cabellene Canyon and the rest of the Bandelier Wilderness sort of expands behind that. The beer I'm going to be reviewing today is a seasonal beer and it's Lacumbre Brewing out of Albuquerque, New Mexico's Project Dank IPA winter 2020 edition. The Project Dank line is probably some of my favorite beer. Um, I've been buying it since it was in Bombers and now it's in cans. It's a little bit easier to take with on adventures like this. And uh, I'm really excited to give this one a taste. I am going to climb down the mountain before I drink it because it is a very steep mountain and I do not want to be impaired whatsoever on the way down. Well, we have a backcountry beer review first. Uh, as I was hiking down the mountain, uh, really more climbing down the mountain, um, the beer fell out of my pocket. I didn't realize it. I was keeping a pretty good hand on it and just slipped at some point. And I didn't realize until I was at the bottom, um, not really a trail up. So it was pretty much gonna be impossible for me to retrace my steps. If you happen to be climbing Boundary Peak and find a beer there, go ahead and drink it, it's on me. Um, so I've decided to continue this review in my backyard. Normally, normally I will bring a backup beer but uh, I like this beer so much that I only had one left. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for joining me on this impromptu backyard beer review. Okay. First of all, delicious as always. Um, as far as the flavors I'm getting from the beer, it starts off really herbaceous. I think of it as kind of uh, sage meets marjoram, maybe. It's just kind of sweet herbs, but still bitter. Um, it's really resinous, um, very dank, as the name implies. I think that too, after you get that initial hit of kind of the herbaceousness and bitterness, um, it does sort of evolve into um, flowery. It's very floral, but you know, the bitterness is still there. So it's kind of hard to find unless you're looking for it. Um, versus the Lacumbre Elevated IPA, which I've reviewed previously, it's really not nearly as malty um, and it's not nearly as citrusy. There's a little bit of like pine, which I think is sort of maybe adjacent to citrusy, but I'm really not getting that strong like grapefruit, uh, blood orange type citrusness that I got with the Elevated. Um, also compared to the Elevated, this is just a lot more like well-rounded. It just seems uh, better put together I guess, not that the elevated was badly put together, but this is just like, it's tame. It's still bitter like hell, but it's tame. Um, it has grateful flavor, but it's just, yeah, like no rough edges. It's hard to describe, uh, but yeah, definitely. If you are still in winter when you're watching this, pick this one up. If not, I'm sure if you buy spring or summer's edition, it's gonna taste just as good. Cheers guys, have a backcountry beer for me.